Ashley. And along with my partner Johnny, we're renovating this 18th century chateau in southwest France. Join us as we hunt for treasures across Europe, for our antique shop and art gallery, taste the region's gastronomical delights, anchovy, peppers, and olive, create our own recipes from our land, and bring Chateau de Lamini back to life. All under the watchful eye of our sausage dog Abernathy and our flock of nine naughty sheep. It's all about art, antiques, food, and farm life in our French chateau. Come along and experience the art of French living. Restaurants have just opened in France and we came to this beautiful little Basque town called Sar. I like to call this region the region of shepherds and chefs because all the hills are dotted with beautiful sheep and all the restaurants are absolutely incredible. These are the famous Espliette peppers, which I must admit, I always thought they were from Spain, but they're actually not. They're from French Basque country. I'm having such a great time, I really am. You know, COVID and lockdown, I think if you're living out like we are in the country, it's not a lot changes really, because we're always at home and it's we carry on working and doing what we do. The difference is not being able to go out to restaurants, which is quite essential because it does lift you. Just sit on a terrace and have a glass of rosé and then be able to go back home, you know, back on working. And it is crazy to think we are living through a pandemic, right? But it's just the way it is at the moment. So here's to everyone's good health and prosperity. Cheers. This is our incredible, delicious lunch. That's salmon. And this, I'm not quite sure what it is, but apparently it has crab and it, it's, it has this amazing, look at this, the beauty of French restaurants. Oh my gosh. The inside is a treat of something delicious. Mm. <laughs> mm. How's that? It's beautiful. That is a crab ravioli. Mm. And. Oh my god, I have no idea what that is, but it's beautiful. Mm. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Our main course has just arrived, and I'm going to turn the camera around. It's actually quite incredible. So, this is the main course. I mean, how beautiful is that? It is actually squid stuffed with chorizo sausage. Look at the flowers. I mean, can you believe that? We've just had the most amazing lunch. We feel like we are newborn now, don't we, Ashley? That's right. <laughs> totally delicious. One thing I do need to do is just post this parcel. This is um, probably one of the first mirrors we've actually sold this year. Covid's been particularly difficult and tough. It's fine, it is what it is, but whilst on vacation, I just need to run to the post office to post this out, which is going to Scotland. So I'm just gonna go and do that now. But just wanted to show you guys this amazing view. I mean, how beautiful is that? Backdrop Incredible. of the church. Yeah. And that beautiful Basque countryside. And that's why we just adore and love this region so much. <laughs> Stunning. There goes Johnny off to post his package. The hotel and restaurant that we are staying at is quite famous for their Bosque cake. And if any of you guys have never tried one, oh my God, they are incredible. Uh, those are Basque cake and you have uh, two types. We do two types of uh, Basque. The first one's gonna be the cream. It's gonna be with vanilla and a little bit of uh, rum. And this one is a uh, cherry, black cherry. And you can see the cherry right here, you know. Right here, I don't know if you can see them or not. Oh, yeah. 
and you usually eat them with cheese. Mm. And they're very good. And you make them here? Uh, yep, it's right on at the end of, uh, of the street. That's where we make them. We have two stand, one here and another one in Saint Jean de Luz. And basically, we are uh, the best in, uh, in the region. So people know where to find us. Beautiful. Merci beaucoup. <laughs> Bonjour. 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 I just bought our desserts for later tonight. Basically, they make two different kinds of boss cakes here. One is stuffed with cherries and the other is stuffed with cream. They're almost a consistency of a shortbread, but a cake as well. So they're a little bit crispy and a little bit dense and seriously, the most incredible things. I love boss cakes. Delicious. So this is dinner later. Now we are leaving Saar and we are on to Biritz. Of course I had to jump out of the car because who doesn't love a sheep crossing sign? I saw this, another one of France's famous vending machines, and I made Johnny turn around. I don't know why I'm so obsessed with these vending machines, but look, you can get a sausage. You can even get your eggs, look at that. Eggs and then some onion. Well, this is a local stew that they're famous for in this region. What else can you get here? Look at this, cheap cheese. You can buy sheep cheese from a vending machine. How cute is that? I love this. So here we are <laughs> in our favourite little spot in Baritz and in our favourite little restaurant, Barji. <laughs> Here is our friend here. <laughs> always handsome, always charming. How are you? <laughs> this place has been here, I'll have to ask, but I think it's, it's been here for about 100 years and uh, it is seriously one of our favorite restaurants. How are you? Hey. How are you, my friend? Are you good? Good. How are you? Happy to be back. Yeah. I want to say hello to my friends. Hello, how are you? <laughs> so look at these amazing pieces of art. Well, we are starting with a collection of pinchos. That's cream cheese and zucchini. And it's delicious. So food just arrived and she's just always so beautiful. Uh, what you saw the gentleman doing here, these are um, set mushrooms um, and they tumble it with a raw egg and they mix it here at the table which is just incredible and then we have calamari which of course is homemade calamari and then the most amazing um razor clams which are just delicious and i'll tell you what uh, these guys here at this restaurant they're just so super friendly <laughs> Happy yeah, birthday yeah. Ashley! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday. Vive la France! <laughs> you know, we'll come over and just remember our name and remember Boo Boo. So this dining experience for lunch is just always such a pleasure. The food is incredible, the sun is shining and now we're about to tuck in. They set with the raw egg yolk is the most incredible, incredible thing you can ever taste. Mm. Bon appetit, Ashley. Mm. Our beautiful waiter, Adrian, has told us that they have special clams that are in season right now. Mm. Bon appetit. Merci, à bientôt. <laughs> à bientôt. See you tomorrow. Bye, my friend. <laughs>
So this is Leal's of Biritz, and it is probably one of my favorite food halls in all of France. Maison Bon. They have a truffle breakfast that is just super incredible. gallery which is set back in a little courtyard of a hotel and uh, these lovely images took my eye um, these wonderful nuns here a little bit naughty nuns and this one is entitled love me now hell is coming so seize the day my friends but what I love about this particular spot is that beautiful art imagery on this side and then on the opposite wall literally Yonder, our lovely sheep. Yeah. So it's kind of like one of these zones where you stand in the middle and you have something to the left and something to the right. It's got a good vibe about this place. Beautiful sheep, as we have, and beautiful religious imagery of Nupsi Nuns. This Cote Basque region is known for their surfing, and it looks like they're all out on this glorious day. For all of you chateau lovers, look at this one. Just perched on the ocean. I wouldn't mind living here. Day two of deep confinement, and see how busy it is already. Spritz. So this place we're at is called Eden Rock Cafe, and it is one of the best places in Biarritz to have a cocktail and watch the sunset. Well, we've come across these little guys in the street. <gasps> Ouch! And this one just rammed me really hard on my knee. Um, but I'm trying to get them out of the road. Okay, no ramming. Come on, babies, come on this way. Come on. <laughs> no, no, don't, do not ram me. Come on. Go on this way. Oh, it's a little goat too. Come on, babies, we're gonna take you back home. Take you home. There you go. <laughs> okay, it looks like they're safely back home with their owners now. Well, it is sheep safety time because there's this tree right in front of me and the sheep like to lay under it but I heard a big hello babies I heard a big crack today and I see that there is a huge branch that's about to fall so Johnny's going to if you can see it you see that branch up there Johnny's gonna come and get it down wouldn't want that to fall on our babies It's Miss Polly Gray. Hi, huh. hey, baby. Daddy's gonna keep you guys safe today. You come in my arms. So it is blowing a gal here today, honestly. And it's actually quite nice, really invigorating. The sheep are loving it. So this is one of their favorite places to come and chill, sheep. 
So we're a little bit anxious that being so windy, that's going to come toppling down at some point. So as opposed to getting ladders, trusty bamboo. This bamboo has been a selfie stick. This bamboo has closed shutters. This bamboo has cleaned cobwebs for us. Now we're getting rid of a dangerous, hello, dangerous branch. Sorry, I'm going to stand back. It's been like being at the fairground, trying to win like a cuddly toy for your sweetheart. <laughs> it sort of looks that way. <laughs> oh. oh my god. It's part of it. Oh, that would have been lethal. Good job, babe. You saved a sheep. So there you go. Not the biggest, but something goes to do quite a lot of damage. I mean, yeah, it could be lethal. Wow. We heard it from so far away. Yeah. Nice job. It's like an old boat, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I think she is firewood. Lovely new friends, <laughs> Vivian, Simon, and Isabella have just arrived to stay with us for the evening. And we have to say we are big fans of their vlog mm. called Chateau Love. We'll put the link below. And we've invited them. For the inauguration of a fire pit. So it will be fun having the s'mores. And of course you can't have s'mores without having some Americans here. Yes, so make sure exactly. that you're doing it right. <laughs> See, Vivian knows what a graham cracker is. Graham yes, yes. Yeah. So the pressure is on somewhat to get it right. So I'm probably more nervous about roasting my marshmallow and having my s'more than I was building and worrying about my manhood carrying all these monumental stones <laughs> into place. We are yeah. so excited. Thank uh, you for having us. Yeah. Uh, this is been. a dream. It is just uh, exquisite. Yeah, uh, thank you. So on that let match, the fun begin. Yes. Yeah, yes. Are you ready for some bubbles? Yes. Always. Yes. It is nearly midnight and we are about to inaugurate the s'mores pit. This is our platter and I'm about to bring it outside for everybody to taste. S'mores are coming. Right, can I say something that's really, really sad? I think this is my first time roasting a marshmallow. So it's quite a new experience. All right. So let's sit on this lovely fire pit here. What kind of chocolate would you like? There's a uh, milk Choice. or dark? Let's say milk. Please. Milk, I know. There you go. So once it's roasted, you put it on there. Push that down. I'm Maybe guessing the heat of the marshmallow makes the chocolate. Exactly. Is that right? Is that pretty good? Yeah. I think so, yeah. 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 Perfect. Yeah. There we go. Next it. Get to touch it. Oh, look at that. Oh, there you go. Looks pretty good. Looks good. Wow. So, am I allowed? That's, that's not too hot. So here we go to our new fire pit. God bless America and God bless s'mores. <laughs> All the s'mores. You know what? That's rather nice. Good, isn't it? The question so is, do you want s'more? <laughs> you know what? I would love some s'more. <laughs> you would love s'more. Mmm, <laughs> quite delicious. Thank you so much for everybody joining us. Honestly, it's a very small little gesture that we're doing here, but it's just one of these little other things that's another job ticked off on our little chateau list. And for something like this, which is so simple, very traditional, it's so lovely to share it, English and Americans, as Satan Bay. <laughs> God bless America and God bless France. Yeah. Yeah. Please. Thank you. Cheers. Let's get some more.
actually my second. Um, but in general, I'm a big s'mores lover. So in the UK, I'm one of my only, um, one of my group of friends who actually has had s'mores. So any chance I get, I'm always trying to convert them and explain to them the joys of American treats. How are you faring, Angela Hall? I'm doing good, thank you. Is that your second? This is my second. And I'm going for a different cracker. So what do you think? They're quite yummy, aren't they? They're rather yummy. So Vivian, <laughs> yes. are you enjoying yourself? I'm enjoying myself enormously because you and Ashley might be two of the very best hosts that we've ever encountered. <laughs> oh, yeah. This That's has been true. the most delightful <laughs> evening. Are you after my marshmallow? No, I'm showing you how Oh, you look like you were coming made, after the mine. Paul's taken after his American wife and now he can't stop. <laughs> <laughs> we weren't expecting an American treat like this this evening, mm. so this is even better. It's actually lovely to have some Americans here, yeah. purely because this is like a traditional um, thing for you guys. Mm -hmm. it, it really, is. it really is. So that'd be interesting to get your um, to get your view on this. So, do you favour dark chocolate or milk chocolate? I favour dark chocolate, dark but chocolate. I got ra rather excited because you've got the you've got the chocolate with the little crispy bits in it as oh. well. So that's just also kind of evocative of childhood. Oh, oh really? <laughs> I've dropped. You see there? Oh, that Doesn't it look nice? Such simple pleasures, huh? Indeed. <laughs> from childhood, here in the French countryside, uh -huh. a long, long way from home. Exactly. Uh -huh. <laughs> so what I love about this is that it's a communal thing. It's a fun thing. And if you haven't done this at home, you should try this because look at everyone here. Smiles on their faces. And that's what it's all about, right? So thank you so much for introducing me to this. And I think it should be a new um, Lomini tradition. Got two dogs meet for the first time. Oh. Oh. Have Lomini and Abernathy. That's a coffee table book, isn't it, right there? <laughs> so Abernathy is uh, 14 years old, is that right? Yes. 14, 15. And Pavlova's 11. She's the younger lady doing a little bit of. Uh, Gold wow. digging here. <laughs> <laughs> and you best if you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. And for exclusive videos and behind the scenes tours, check out our Patreon page. As always, thanks for watching.